Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Dunn, for taking the time to speak with us at San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium on your very important work and potentially practice-changing study on the MAMO50 trial. Um, I did have a question for, in clinical practice, do you feel there's a particular subset of patients where less frequent mammography screening would be um, the most feasible? Yes, yeah, so this study um, randomized patients 50 years or over at diagnosis and they had to get to three years post curative surgery, have a, a final mammogram, have a baseline mammogram and be clear. So I think this population w um, could benefit from less frequent mammography. So it's not including the under 50s, obviously, because they're higher risk. Um, and it's, it's including those that get to that three year post, post curative surgery time frame. And, you know, I, I noticed on the, the study cohort, the majority of the patients included in the study were, had smaller tumors, favorable prognostics, hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative. Yeah. Um, is there a plan for a subset analysis on the small triple negative cohort that was included in the study? Yeah, well, there's only 6% of patients actually had triple negative. But what we are doing is we're going to do further um, analysis on those patients that actually had a recurrence. We're going to look at the timing of recurrence, we're going to look at the types of recurrence, and we're going to link that um, to any prognostic risk that we can look at at baseline. So um, indirectly, no, but actually, yes. <laughs> we'll include them in a multivariate analysis. Perfect. I mean, I really look forward to the results of that analysis. And again, I think this is a very potentially practice-changing study for our patients. Um, and you know, my final question is, is there plans to potentially even expand this to include premenopausal women, um, you know, who over their lifetime are gonna have to have more potential imaging studies because they are diagnosed at a younger age, although they are, as you said, higher risk. Yeah, so there's, there's other work going on looking at um, sort of how to manage and follow up patients with a higher risk group. So the point of this study was to look at those those lower risk patients. And I would say um, we did have 26% um, with grade three tumors. And, um, you know, so we do have some, some potentially high risk patients in here, but the majority were low to medium risk, I would say. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for, ta again, taking the time to present your very important work and for taking the time to meet with me and answer some of our questions that I hope will help, you know, the rest of the attendees as well. Thank you. On behalf of the Mama 50 team, thank you very much for your interest. Thank, thank you. you.